All right. <clears throat> so now that uh, now that all of that stuff is done at the Twilight Sepulcher, etc., I where the hell did you come from? Um, since I'm in the area just to the north here, there's uh, there's a small cave. I think that I'll be able to grab a little something. I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let on what it is. I mean, suffice to say, I'm basically metaing my way through the game at this moment because, okay, this should be the cave up here. Yep, sure enough, Sunderstone Gorge. It looks like there's a necromancer out front. An arch necromancer. Look at that. The boss is guarding the door. Oh, my word. Oh. Damn it. Come on. Okay, now uh, <laughs> I might want to armor myself up. Oh my god, that's a named dragon. That's not just some random dragon. Come here, you little... Land. I did not expect. Dragon attacks are becoming more frequent, though. I will admit that. Ooh. Come on. There we go. And we're not done yet. We've got a freaking arch necromancer to deal with. Who, interestingly enough, I think this guy has more health and well, not necessarily does more damage, but definitely has more health than the dragons that I deal with at this point. There we go. Okay then. Oh. I think um Yeah, I just killed a dragon. What you gonna do about it? A hunter that's just run up. All right, so, uh, where was the, oh, right, okay, the cave entrance is over here. Okay, so I'm fairly certain that this is a necromancer's den now that I, uh, now that I've dealt with an arch necromancer outside here. Ooh. So, this is, uh, this is a bit unique and different, just random, quote-unquote, random dungeon delving. There is a particular reason I'm in here, and you'll find out whenever I get to the end. Ooh. Ow! Fucking rocks. Rock. I think oh, the physics engine is really the what the skeleton. F the physics engine in Skyrim is really your greatest enemy. It's the one that could. Uh, it's the one thing that could kill you instantaneously. I mean, I think it's like um, even after you get enough health to not be killed by the. No, 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 no. I'm. I'm thinking wrong there. I'm thinking wrong. It's like the weird the weird results of the what on earth? Weird place to hide your stash. Um it's like the physics engine gives some of the weirdest results in Skyrim. Of course, then again, I don't know any other games. I'm certain they're out there, but I don't know any other games where the physics are actually tied to Oh crap. That nope, nope. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh the skeleton gave me trouble in the afterlife, after falling over dead, quote unquote dead. <clears throat> Did not mean to do that. For some reason, the Deidre, uh, my 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 Daedric is it Dramora? I don't remember the name of what I'm summoning. I know it's a Deidre, but is it a Dramora? I think it's a Dramora. Ugh, oh, God, I am, uh, I am, I am meandering all over the place with my thoughts. My word, jeez. I think my, uh, he cannot help but consistently, jeez, the pyromancer, or fire wizard? Is he dead? No, not dead yet. Gotta be dead in a minute. <laughs> what on earth, I, I, I need to, I need to form a complete thought that's not just commentating on the immediate thing that I'm doing. Man. I don't really, uh, I, I don't really do random, uh, dungeon delving in this, this game. Admittedly, this isn't actually a random dungeon that I'm leaping into. I'm here for a particular reason. Like I said, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But, neat. Hello. One thing that I do like about the, uh, the, uh, the dungeon design in Skyrim is the fact that there are always nooks and crannies for you to find. Oh, right, um, frame rates. So, like, I, I don't know many, if there are any other games out there, where the frame rate is directly tied to how the physics engine fun functions. If there is another game out there that does that, you know, 
tell me. Say something down in the comments. Please, like, comment, subscribe, smash that bell button, or whatever. Um, <laughs> but... I don't... I, I cannot think of another game that has, uh, that has, you know, frame rates tied to, uh, the physics engine. And, for that matter, the physics engine, jeez, it, it spits out some weird, uh, some weird results. It's like whenever, um, giants smash you with their club, right? As I was saying earlier, if a giant smashes you with your, uh, with their club, and you die, there's a really good chance that you'll go, you'll get flung up into the air. So, to one degree, it, it seems a lot to me that the game, you know, it, it says, hey, the physics engine doesn't affect you, because if that was the case, it seems to me like if you can absorb an entire hit from, uh, from a, you know, a giant's club, it should fling you up in the air, regardless of whether or not you're dead. But evidently, for, like, just by the looks of it, the physics engine doesn't affect the player character, you know? Like, the physics engine, I don't think it affects the player character if you are alive. And then whenever you're dead, um... The rules change. That's what- that's just what it appears to me, right? It's a curiosity. Makes me wonder, you know? Um, and I'm just talking about stuff, you know, as I've seen it, you know, while playing the game for a whole lot. I did not mean to pick up that embalming tool. But at the same time, it's more of a- uh, ooh, gloves. It's more of a challenge to, um, actually, you know, drop stuff after you pick it up accidentally. Well, more of a hassle, really. This is a very empty place, though, um, the, uh, the little space down here does remind me of another, uh, dungeon. One that I should go through, but I don't know if I'm gonna be getting around to it at all. Uh, it, it's an- it involves the stones of Baron Zaya. Gotcha! Criminy. Master locks are a pain in the ass. I- just, uh, This is- this is me now playing without the skeleton key. Oh, damn it. There we go. Okay, now I can walk again. I don't wanna- I don't wanna equip my, uh, my carrying gear until I reach the end of the dungeon. Which reminds me of the- the, uh, the concept of, uh, of loot sweeping. Loot sweeping used to make a lot more sense in Oblivion because of the, uh, the dungeon design. But, uh, makes- makes a lot less- I feel it makes less sense here in, um, in Skyrim. Because of the- because the dungeon- the dungeons are so much better designed in this than they were in Oblivion. All right, we're at the boss chamber. Let's go ahead and kill these fools. Clearly, they're summoners. God, I'm fumbling my flipping. Oh, of course you do that. Okay, fine, whatever. I've got a black soul gem on me. I want to capture this guy's soul. There's a good chance that that won't happen now. Um, that spell is probably. Oh, damn it. Deidre, you... Uh, you did it on me. You killed the guy before I was able to recast Soul Trap. In all honesty, the pickaxe hasn't been a very great way to do Soul Trap. It'd be better if I just stuck to the spell. What have we got here? Oh, hey! Sunfire? Nice! Alright, so... And we'll just finish looting this place out completely. And, uh, the loot chamber here is the whole reason why I came along. It's not for the word of power. God knows, I don't care about the word of power. I've talked about this before, but just... The, the whole concept of being dragonborn and you can shout doesn't interest me at all. I mean, it, it's this, it's the same story when it came to, uh, Oblivion. Like, the Oblivion gates were really, really cool, um, and you could get incredible powers from the stones that you remove from them, but they were very redundant and samey, and, you know, you could do the same thing with enchanting at the, uh, Arcane University, so I just never bothered, like, if you didn't go and do the first quest, um, the Oblivion Gates wouldn't appear. Alright, so first off, Stone of Baron Zaya, and second, Wood Elf. Harvest the blood. This should be the last one? Haha, <laughs> alright, alright, I've got all the blood that I need. So, uh, the Wood Elf has been collected, uh, I, I, you, you, would have seen it in a previous episode. I like made a quick trip into um, Black Reach to harvest the blood of a Falmer, um, etc. But um, yeah, just the in Oblivion, I I specifically never started the main quest. Like after the first playthrough that I did, I specifically never started the main quest because it was you know a situation of. God, those Oblivion gates are really annoying. I walk you know five feet and I found another one. Oh, man. Scrolls. So I, I I made a like decided effort to try to avoid 
the, uh, you know, starting the main quest in Oblivion to avoid the Oblivion Gates. And if it was possible, I would do the same thing here in Skyrim so I wouldn't have to deal with dragons popping up all over the place. Unfortunately, word walls being everywhere in the game, like functionally, mechanically, the way that you design your game, since you can still find word walls without starting the main quest, it kind of makes sense for you to be able to, um, have dragon attacks. Wait a minute. Do the dragons actually spawn? I feel like dragons still spawn in the world. Even if you kill. Even if you don't, um, do the watchtower. Anyway, I gotta head back to Riften. Talk about that later. Uh, Riften Ho. Lucky me, I didn't, uh, I didn't contract anything on the way back here. Usually I have to stop by that, uh, Shrine of Talos right over there. Oh, nobody sees me. I... You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Uh... What are you doing down here? I'm as good as the Guildmaster. We need to beef up security, for God's sake. That was a legion... Jeez! All right. Guys? Oh. Oh, they must be gathered up. Um... I think Brynjolf would be... Okay, no, he's not in the vault. Kind of disappointing that the vault never fills back up. Anyways. Um, maybe Brynjolf's over here. But, guys, we are gonna have to talk about security. We just had a Legion armor in the secret passage. Brynjolf. Hey, Brynjolf! Well, my friend... The time's come to make it official. It's time to become our guild master. Don't worry. I promise this will be short and sweet. If you'll just meet us in the center of the cistern room, we can begin. Look, I've never been good at these things, so I'm just gonna keep it short. Being guild master means more than just getting a cut of all the loot. It's about being a leader and keeping this rabble in order. With that in mind, I propose that the position of Guildmaster should be yours. Delvin? Agreed. Vex. Sure, why not? Carlia. Absolutely. Everyone is in agreement. So all I can do now is name you Guildmaster. And wish you good fortune and long life. Now everyone, get back to work. I suppose you deserve it. Couldn't do any worse than Mercer anyway. Such a vote of confidence, Vex. I can't think of a better person for the job, Nightingale. Thanks, Carlyle. Uh, about the Nightingales, though. Can't help but notice that you're wearing your armor... ...in front of everyone. Whatever happened to keeping everything a secret? I think by now, most within the Guild are well aware of what transpired between Mercer Frey and ourselves. The notion that the Nightingales are a fictive group has long since passed. If you wish to wear your Nightingale armor within the Guild, I'm certain that no one would give it a second thought. Well, at least that's one less secret to have to keep. How are you doing, Carlyle? I mean, now that Mercer's gone and... Well, quite unexpectedly, you got some closure with Gallus. That's quite the turnaround after 25 years on the run. I'm feeling a sense of inner peace. Something I haven't felt in a very long time. Instead of being clouded with thoughts of revenge and retribution, I feel only serenity and fulfillment. Of course, I've been also dabbling in my old pastimes as well. Take a look around, and feel free to share the fruits of my labor. Oh, don't worry, Carlyle. I intend to. After all, I didn't climb myself into the position of Guildmaster for nothing. But, I'll leave you to ply your craft. May the shadows guide your journey. And you as well, Carlyle. Alright, Brynjolf. You need anything. Anything at all. Don't hesitate to ask. I'll be certain to let you know if there's anything I need, Brynjolf. On the note, though, how's everything going with the guild? I haven't checked in with you in a while. Not since... Well, not since we took care of Mercer. Take a good look around you. Have you ever seen the guild in such a prosperous state? With Mercer Frey gone, and our influence spreading across Skyrim, the guild's earned a new level of respect it hasn't seen in decades. 
I couldn't be more proud to be part of the Thieves' Guild. Or of its new Guildmaster. <laughs> nice try, Brynjolf. I'm not increasing your cut just because you're flattering me. But, what was up with that ceremony back there? If you could even call it that. A little bit... lackluster, don't you think? Well, that's it. Sorry if it isn't the ceremony you were hoping for, but we're not exactly known for throwing our coin around. After we're done, head over to Tenelia, and she'll set you up with your Guildmaster armor. Oh, and one last thing. Here, I want you to take this. It's sort of a tradition around here. Oh. Well, this is much more like it. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. Shut up. What do you think, to actually dear? use them. Could a beautiful woman like you ever see yourself with an old codger like me? What? Absolutely. Oh. Oh, really? Well then, how can we make that happen? When you're in your grave, and I'm standing over it. Now get out of my way! Oh, cold Delvin. So now the pupil is the master, eh? Good show. Thanks for the compliment, Delvin. But... Flattery won't get you anywhere. Also, you probably know by now, but that special job that you sent me off for in Whiterun, it's all sorted out. The Battleborns are, well, suffice to say, they're one big happy family. Alfred sent ahead his compliments. Looks like his friend Arn is soon to be released, thanks to his brand new identity. More importantly, he's pledged the full support of the Battleborn clan to the Thieves' Guild. The Guild's at full strength, and we have you to thank for it. We've had our share of dark times, and now they seem like a distant memory. I'm gonna tell you something you'll never hear me say again. But if you tell anyone I told you, I'll deny it. When you walk through the Guild, don't be ashamed to hold your head high. Because you're the best damn thief in the place. I won't forget that, Delvin. And I don't think anyone else inside of the cistern will forget it either. Not exactly keeping it a secret. But anyways, just because I'm the Guildmaster doesn't mean that I don't have anything left to learn. So, do you have some pointers you could give me about how to remain unnoticed? Stick with me, and they'll never even know you're there. I see. Okay. Thanks for the help, Delvin. Could I give you a little tip? Take every job you can get, or else you'll end up a beggar. I suppose you deserve So it. you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. <laughs> very funny, Tonelia. I'll play along. Why are we going to get so well acquainted? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. A fee here, a slice there. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Yeah, yeah. I know that all too well, Tonelia. You don't have to tell me that. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Um... This... is not what Brynjolf said you would have for me. Before we get down to business, I've got something I need you to do. Uh... All right. What is it that you need? Well, as you know, the guild's growing and things are looking up around here. The only thing we're lacking is a reliable way to transport our merchandise across Skyrim. I see. What do you want me to do about that? I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there are several Khajiit caravans that travel across the realm. They're shrewd traders and don't mind getting their hands dirty. I bartered with their leader, Rasad, on more than one occasion. Oh, Rasad. I've dealt with him before, all above board before now, but, uh, well, what is it that you want me to tell him? Actually, I want you to bring him something. 
You see, the caravans are notorious for transporting illegal substances. Present Rasad with the satchel of moon sugar, and I bet my last septum he'll make a deal. All right. I'm usually not one for transporting contraband, but I'll make an exception. Now, about my armor. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? You're not just going to take something from me, are you? This is going to be an upgrade, right? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. In that case, I'll swap my gloves out. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Unless you want to sell it at a discount, of course. Yes, I'm certain, Tanilia. Okay, there you go. I suppose you deserve it. Couldn't do any worse than Mercer, anyway. Tanilia, hold up. Here's to a long and prosperous future. May the guild last another hundred years. <laughs> Indeed, Tonilia. But listen, I didn't come to you about standard armor or upgrading it. Brynjolf said that you had special armor for me. Yes, and I'm more than happy to give it to you. I mean, look at this place. I've never seen so much wealth down here. You've made us all rich. Here you go. Should fit you like a glove, boss. There we go. Those are the words that I wanted to hear. Thank you very much, Tonilia. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get on my way. I'll be certain to come back and talk to you once I get this job with the moon sugar sorted out. Until then, Shadow hide you. You'll find Rasad with his caravan group. Just don't do anything stupid when you get there. You are so confident yes, in me. Did you need something? No, Brynjolf. Oh, my word. The awkwardness whenever you don't talk to one person in the guild until after you finish the whole quest line. <laughs> well, I don't know that I'll ever get around to taking care of this moon sugar. I'll probably just be carting it with me for a long time. But there is another major thing that I need to get done, and it involves heading up north past Windhelm. So, off to my next adventure.